We're going to kill every day. All kinds of people have very f interesting ideas of what it means. Well, we'll talk about what that is tonight on Everyday KT 416. What wearing a kilt regularly is not. Wearing the kilt regularly is not a formal event every single day. It is not going to a fancy party, going to a dance, going to a parade, going to a renaissance festival every single day. It is not any of those things. Wearing a kilt every day is exactly this. Waking up in the morning, putting on your clothes, going about your day. Doing the things that you do every single day. You just happen to have a very unique choice in clothing. That's it. That's what wearing a kilt is and is not. Wearing of the kilt, yes, it gives you massive courage. Some, It gives you confidence. It inspires you sometimes. It inspires other people to do amazing things. But it's not a fancy dress party every single day. It's not spend three and a half hours every morning making sure that the lines on the tartan line up with whatever or that your socks kilt hose even are folded just properly fancy parties sure every day no no I think there's a huge misconception in the world even in the kilted community as a whole that if you're going to wear a kilt you have to be dressed to the nines as it were well for a lot of us we don't even have the nines. We're lucky if we, we get the two. You know, we have a kilt and a belt, maybe a sporin. Yay! But that's it. So, for those of you who are either just beginning your kilted journey or haven't started at all, or have been doing this for a very long time but have decided that you just like kilts and that's pretty much all you're going to wear, you're not going to get into the rest of it. Don't be discouraged. Don't worry about it. Don't take any of the BS to heart from folks who have $25,000 worth of kilt gear. Don't. Don't mess with it. Don't even worry about it. Put it out of your head. Because it's your kilt. You wear it the way you want to wear it. And if that means that you've got a pair of chucks with a utility, a utility kilt uh, and, a, I don't know, a massive four-inch leather belt from Home Depot, so be it. That's fine. You're comfortable, you're happy, then guess what? You're doing it right. That's the important part. You being happy with what you're wearing and confident in being able to just do your thing. Rock it. Kick some ass on your own terms. No one else is just yours. And yes, I'm wearing a uh, high-vis jersey today because I was busy cutting trees right next to the road. Let's see if I can't throw out some kiltology today. We'll go with volume two. It's on Amazon. Go buy a copy. Well, all right. So here we go. This applies not only to every day, but this applies specifically now here in New England we had basically a hurricane this past weekend uh, there are more trees down than I've ever seen in my life and I've seen some really nasty hurricanes even some tornadoes I've never seen devastation like this uh, there are crews that have been working non-stop for a couple of days now trying to restore power trying to at least get the roads cleared there's some roads that only were just cleared today it's nasty out there. It's really bad. It looks like a bomb went off. A really big one. So, Guildology number 408. Appreciation. Appreciate your friends, family, and those you care for. It will be paid to ba back to you in spades. If it's a kilt that you appreciate, it will be paid back in scotch and haggis. And if you're lucky, the bottle of scotch will still be full. So, for those of you out there, don't forget to show your appreciation to those who are helping you. It doesn't have to be in a time of need. It doesn't have to be in a time of crisis. It could be in a time of they happened to show up and they decided that they wanted to buy you that cup of coffee that morning just because they were being nice. Show your appreciation. Always. Never let an opportunity to show your appreciation go undone. With that, 
I'll let you go. Any of you uh, up in here in New England, I hope all of you are still safe. No major problems. Uh, I hear power is getting resolved uh, in the next couple of days. And everybody else, hope you don't have a tree on your house. Be strong. Put guilt on it.